guys welcome back to my channel today i am back with another video and today i'm going to be talking about some of my tips for book festivals recently i haven't had the opportunity to go to a few different festivals around my area including the national book festival which i have a video on and also went to the Fredericksburg independent book festival and including recently uh this week i actually went to fall for books festival which was at george mason university which was so much fun i saw a lot of authors through all of them and some best-selling ones and also even some local authors where I learned so much from them and it was just so much fun. So in this video I want to give some of my tips for going to book festival in case you're interested in going them and you want to know about helpful tips that help you along the way. So getting started um, and by the way I have also pictures on my Instagram so in case you want to see it's like some snapshots that I took throughout all the book festivals that I went to. So getting started um, my first tip is to always be prepared for going there. Personally, I always believe like if you go into an event, always know everything that you can about the festival. Go on the website, set up to the newsletter, their social media pages, get some information like where it is, what food things are going to be in the area. That way, you know, like, you know, where not to bring a lunch because if the food's not that good, at least you know. Bring a really good backpack or a big purse to fit a lot of books bring as much money as you can, and also like learning about some of the authors that are going to be there so you know what to expect. And if you want to read up some of the books from those authors so you can build up for more excitement, it's always helpful. So that's like my first tip is always to be prepared. Secondly is to um, show up early. Always show up early to anything because uh, from, from a lesson my mom and my sister learned uh, they decided to go to a festival nearby me and they pretty much like they like to go on the fly they like to be very spontaneous but they didn't show up as early they like showed up at four o'clock and so they pretty much were unprepared and they were very overwhelmed and didn't know what to do so they didn't know what was going on and there was like so many things going on and they were unprepared so it was not cool and i was like yeah you know you need to prepare for these things you know you need to know about these festivals before going. And so um, whenever I show up early, especially because you don't want to miss every single event and you want to get as much as you can. And when you're also early, uh, if you've never been to that venue before, it's good to know like where everything is. So know where the bathrooms are and know how to navigate because that way you can own your event, event and stuff. Number three is to not be afraid to talk to authors. Especially like if they're like local authors or something like that, or they have like those few moments like uh, that there's nothing going on before the show actually starts. It's always like a cool to actually talk to them and uh, especially like if it's like low key and stuff like they're open to it. Having conversations, be afraid, uh, don't be afraid to ask for advice or something and it's always nice because you learn so much and it's also a great networking experience. Number four is to have a pen and paper. I thought I learned this the hard way a few days ago because when I went to the Fall for Bet Book Festival, I always like regret like not having a pen or a pencil or something like that to write with in paper because you never know when you have like a survey. Or I do think like some sure like if you're interested in writing or something or joining Nano Rymo next month. Or just want to be an author or interested in publishing, it's always nice to have like some notes so that way you have something to take away with you throughout the experience. Because I think festivals are great, not just for just to get books, but also to learn something from the author, their experience about writing and their advice and so on that helped them throughout the years. And number five is to just have fun. It's always good to have fun, take some pictures, buy some books. It's always helpful and yeah, so that's pretty much like my tips for five tips for uh, book festivals. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have also other tips that you learned uh, during the book festivals that you went to and what are some that you actually enjoyed going to. Learn, like to learn more about that experience. So if you like this video, click on thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe because a lot of things are happening. I got more book reviews coming up and book recommendations and then pretty much everything else. Do subscribe. So until next time, keep on reading.